Hi guys, my name is Harry. Today in this video, I'll show you the way to install WebStorm, the smartest editor for front-end development and server-side JavaScript. Let's get started now. First, type the keyword Download WebStorm. The first result is a advertisement, so I choose the next one. Depends on your OS, Windows, Mac, or Linux, choose the top OS, then hit the download button. This is the WebStorm setup file I downloaded. Open this file. Click next to continue. I keep the default setting for install location. Click next. Choose the associations. Then create a desktop shortcut. Next. Then install. Wait a few minutes for the process to complete. Click run WebStorm then finish. We need to choose a theme for our ID. We can change the theme later, so I will pick the dark one. Actually, WebStorm isn't an open source software, but we can use it without any money by using a education email. Go back to the download WebStorm page, hover the mouse to the support tile, then click on Academic License. For students or teachers, you can get access to all JetBrain IDEs free in one year. If your student license is prior, you can apply to renew it. Click on Apply Now. Choose the required options. Then you have to fill a student email address, an email with edu's extension, for example, abc at edu's.abc. Choose your country. Agree with the term, then click on Apply button. After that, check out your student email. You will receive an email and the link to create a new account. I already have one, so go back to the main page. Click on this icon to log in. We also have a sign up button here, but after you sign up a new account, you also need to apply for a student license to use free IDEs. I log in with my JetBrain account. This is the license page, a summary about JetBrain account. You can see how long your license lasts, the expiry date, and all the products you can use with the license. Go back to WebStorm IDE, log in with the RESPRIN account you reserve created, fill the email, password, then activate the license. Create a new project. To check the WebStorm license, choose the Help option, then the register. We have info about the username, its prior date, the license type, education, and the emails to log in. If you don't like the dark theme, you can change the theme by these steps. First, choose the File option, then Settings, at the right section, Appearance and Behavior, choose the theme you want. Then apply. If you have any errors during install this IDE or apply for free license, please let me know by comment below this video. Have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the newest video.